Hello, everyone. Welcome to Color My Culture. Today, we will take a dive into the life and legacy of Errol Barrow, a visionary leader and one of Barbados' national heroes. Errol Walton Barrow was born on January 21st, 1920, in the parish of St. Lucie, Barbados. He was a gifted student who won scholarships, the last in 1929 to study classics at Codrington College, which is one of the oldest Anglican theological colleges in the Americas, now affiliated with the University of the West Indies at Cave Hill. With the outbreak of World War II, Barrow traveled to Britain to volunteer for the RAF, which stands for Royal Air Force. After training in Britain and Canada, he was commissioned as an officer and completed 48 bombing operations against targets in occupied Europe and Germany. Errol Barrow met his wife, Caroline Marie Plaskett, while in Europe. After the war, they got married and their union produced two children. He also studied economics and law in England after World War II before returning to Barbados in 1950 as a lawyer. In 1951, he was elected to the Barbados Parliament as a member of the Barbados Labour Party representing the parish of St. George. However, he eventually founded the Democratic Labour Party in 1955 after being dissatisfied with the political approach of the Barbados Labour Party supporters. He had an interest in social and political reform, as well as independence from British rule for his homeland, Barbados. The DLP came to power in 1961 and Barrow served as premier leading his country to independence on November 30th, 1966, from the rule of Great Britain. His role in leading Barbados to independence is one of his most significant contributions. As Prime Minister, Barrow introduced measures to reduce poverty and improve the quality of life of ordinary Barbadians. He also developed industry, commerce, and tourism on the island. Barrow lessened Barbados' reliance on foreign powers, especially the United States, and strengthened ties between the English-speaking countries of the Caribbean. Barrow was not only a politician, but also a champion of social justice and equality. He worked to improve the lives of Barbadians by investing in education, healthcare, and infrastructure. He also advocated for the rights of workers and fought against discrimination and inequality. Barrow served as prime minister until 1976. He returned to power with an overwhelming majority in May 1986, but died in office on June 1st, 1987, and he was only 67 years old. Today, Barbadians and those of Barbadian heritage continue to honor Errol Barrow's legacy by building on his vision for better Barbados. Errol Barrow was a man of integrity, courage, and vision. He inspired many to dream big and work hard to achieve their goals. As many observe Errol Barrow Day, we are inspired by his example and efforts to make Barbados a better place for everyone. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this type of content focusing on Caribbean history, Black history, and culture, please subscribe to our channel. Find us on Etsy and Amazon by searching for Color My Culture. Follow us on social media at Color My Culture 4. Thank you and have a wonderful day.